a major winter storm is expected to impact the Midwest and the Northeast by next week. If we were to take a look at the latest depiction of the European model, we do see that for right now, most of the weather throughout the United States is mainly quiet, but that's quickly about to change as we move forward into early next week. We're going to see a trough move in through the Pacific Northwest and bring not only a large area of snow to the Pacific Northwest, but plenty of cold air behind it to create an unstable environment for a significant winter storm to develop in the Midwest. Continuing to move forward, we see that a small clipper system will move through. Make sure to be aware of the possibility of 1-3 inches of snow associated from this first clipper system. And then, of course, this is a big storm system we're taking a look at, which has a large area of snow. The millibar pressure is down to 987 millibars, so it is a quite a strong low pressure system that is capable of dumping a heavy amount of snow over a large area. And then we'll eventually see this storm move a little bit further southward and see the low pressure system sort of converge more towards the midsection of the country and of course as a result of the plenty of cold air that's behind this chop and the warm air we're seeing the much above average the uh, much warmer than average chapters we're seeing throughout the eastern half of the united states it's going to create a highly unstable and convective environment for a large area of snow and even the possibility of severe weather to exist in the southeast so there's only something to keep in mind as we approach the midweek of next week where we should begin to see we should begin to see the snow um, approach the Midwest as early as late Tuesday time frame where we're be going to begin to see the first flakes move in to Minnesota and uh, Dakotas uh, as we approach the Wednesday time frame. And continuing to move forward with the forecast, we see a large area of convection develops. And like I've been saying over the pre past previous videos, there's going to be a ridge that's going to be locked in place for um, over the eastern, um, the east coast of the United States. So this will probably primarily be a rain event once again for many of the coastal areas in the northeast and even for the midwest it's on the more southern Midwest um, cities, it, it's more likely you're going to experience more entirely of a rain event than a snow event, such as Chicago, Detroit. Maybe those areas could get in with some freezing rain and wintry mix, which could be another issue that you're going to have a co to, to uh, contend with with this storm system because we're seeing just enough of a strong northeasterly flow converging with the southwesterly flow, and that's bound to create at least some sort of freezing rain event associated with this winter storm so in those areas very close to the rain snow line you need to be aware of that possibility of freezing rain this includes cities potentially as far south as detroit chicago milwaukee could get involved as of right now it seems like milwaukee would experience more of a snow event and then eventually changing into a freezing rain to wintry mix event as we as the storm continues to head further eastward and of course further northward to allow that warm air intrusion to intrude the mid levels of the atmosphere but we do see that for much of northern United States, this is an extremely heavy snow event for much of Wisconsin, northern Michigan, even Minneapolis. You could experience up to a foot of snow, and the interior northeast as well should get involved. And based on the latest depiction of the European model, the European model wants to bring heavy snowfall to Boston. So this won't necessarily this has a possibility of not only impacting the low populated areas of the northeast this could impact a large population center in the um in the boston metropolitan area so in boston you need to be aware of that possibility of snow as you approach the early thursday time frame there's still time to iron out the forecast we're going around four days out at this time so of course the forecast could change it really all depends on the position of this ridge and how strong this ridge is because if this ridge is a little bit stronger then of course you'd see more of a southwesterly flow that would push more of that warm air to the boston area to prevent the possibility of snowfall and for for the areas that are southward along the interstate 95 corridor you're probably thinking that this at least for this is a snowstorm it'll be a rain event and while it's most likely the case for areas I'd say anywhere that's south of the Hartford, Connecticut area. It becomes a different story when we take a look at our next potential snowstorm, which could develop by next weekend, where we do see that, that on the Saturday to Sunday time frame, a large portion of New England and Northeast experiences heavy snowfall. And as of right, as of the latest run, the European model does it eventually expect the rainfall to change over terrain for many of the big cities, but this still could bring 
covering a large area of 3 to 6 inches of snow, which could, of course, cause havoc on the roadways for your Saturday commute. So you need to, we need to pay close attention to this as well. But for this first snowstorm, the certainty, like I said in my previous video, is high at this point with the general direction. It seems like both of the computer models have very similar scenarios, so that definitely does raise certainty that this storm will take this similar trajectory along with this similar strength. But if you're along the rain snow line, there could easily be those variations that could make or break the possibility of snowfall, such as Boston, Detroit, um, even Milwaukee and Chicago. You still need to be aware of that possibility that the rain snow line could vary within the next couple days and any small variation could make a big difference in terms of how much snow you should receive but you should at least um for anywhere that's north of the rain snow line trajectory or at least the general area of the rain snow line trajectory you're likely to experience a major snowstorm so you need to prepare as we approach the midweek because this is expected to dump over a foot of snow in many areas of the northern midwest now moving forward to this next potential snowstorm so as the snowstorm moves out of the northeast we're gonna see this ridge that's just to the south of it weaken a bit and we're gonna see this ridge not only weaken but a move a little bit further westward to the point where we're gonna see less of a southerly flow throughout the east coast and more of a westerly to even a slight northwesterly flow to allow that cold air to move to the northeast including the coastal northeast cities for a larger area of snow to develop because if we were to continue move forward we do see that this ridge weakens we don't see the ridge extend as far north and we see this ridge eventually shift a little bit more westward to where we're gonna see more of a westerly flow from much of the united states rather than a southerly flow and we do see the iso bars are a lot more widespread are a lot further apart or a lot have a lot more distance between them which represents that this ridge is weaker and as this trough coming off the pacific northwest coast moves into the midsection of the country the ridge will be strong enough to at least create somewhat of an unstable environment but it won't be strong enough to entirely bring that warm air far north enough to prevent philadelphia new york city and boston from receiving snowfall now this forecast is definitely more uncertain than the first snowstorm because it's further out it is going around six days out so still a lot of time to iron out the forecast but both the computer models have been very persistent on this scenario and we haven't really seen any disagreements between the two main the most reliable computer models regarding this scenario or at least big disagreements regarding the um this low precious system so that makes me that so that indicates to me that this scenario is a little bit more likely than what we'd expect for a storm system that six days out still easily could change take it with a grain of salt but i'd say it's almost becoming more likely than not that at least some of the coastal cities will get involved with some snowfall from this storm system but definitely the forecast could change i want to emphasize that since we're still six days out and what really will determine if we're going to see snow along the coastal northeast is of course the position and the strength of this ridge because if this ridge is a little bit stronger and a little bit further eastward to bring more of a southerly flow then of course that warm air will be a little bit too far north to allow precipitation to fall in the form of snowfall for the coastal northeast however if this ridge were weaker and we see this ridge move even further westward to bring more of a northwesterly flow rather than a west or southwesterly flow then of course the possibility of snowfall definitely increases for the coastal northeast cities the position and the strength of this ridge will play a big role in terms of the snowfall you should receive throughout new england and northeast i'll keep you guys update over the next several days now let's take a look at the gf GFS model scenario. The GFS model at this time is showing a very similar scenario to what the European model is stating, which makes me believe that the certainty is certainly high for this first snowstorm and potentially this second snowstorm as well. But still, we do see that the GFS model does expect expect that there's going to be a larger area of snow that's going to be more widespread and impact the areas for a southward as far south as washington dc while the european model is expecting the snow to be no more further south than the phil than the proximity than the latitude of philadelphia so there's still uncertainty regarding where exactly that rain snow line will be but we do see that the low pressure system is moving at a similar trajectory it's similarly strength the, the only real big difference is that the 
the area of snow in the GFS model is larger because the GFS model expects a weaker ridge to build throughout the eastern half of the United States. But for northeast, you need to at least be aware of this scenario because this could be your first significant snowstorm for many um, for many of those who are along the coast of the northeast. And of course, the certainty with the second snowstorm is a little bit higher. And what's interesting is that the GFS model is now caving more and more to what the European model is stating with this first snowstorm, where it wants to bring the snow now a little bit further southward, just like the European model has been stating over the past several runs. So I'd say the European model might be the more correct model for this scenario, at least for a first snowstorm and potentially the second as well, especially considering the fact that the, G the European model been the more reliable forecast model this winter. So that's going to be something to keep in mind as well. So this is the European model's forecast when it comes to the height anomaly. Of course, the big ridge is expected to build by the middle of next week. This is going to force the first low pressure system to move further northward and mainly relegate the snow to the northern portions of the Midwest and the Northeast while primarily being a rain event for the East Coast thanks to how strong this ridge is and how strong the southerly winds will be. However, as we move forward, we do see the ridge, like I've been saying, does weaken and then eventually moves further eastward. So now the Northeast experiences is more of a westerly to even a slight northwesterly wind flow rather than a southwesterly wind flow so we see a little bit more cold air move to the northeast and of course we eventually see that trough move in with plenty of cold air as this ridge completely weakens as we approach next weekend which enhances the possibility of snow for northeast and the midwest we're really going to need to determine how strong and the position of this ridge will be as we approach um next week because that'll be a big determinant in who will get snowfall throughout the northeast and even the midwest in terms of what the european model is forecasting when it comes to snowfall over the next several days we do see that um the northern great lakes region ex could experience over a foot of snow including and this includes the uh, northern northeast as well the more interior sec sections of the northeast where the higher elevations could experience over a foot of snow and even further south and into boston hartford new york city and even as far south as philadelphia is getting involved with snowfall in the european model scenario and it's very similar to what the GFS model is stating. So that could mean that certainty is higher for the second snowstorm. The GFS model is showing a very similar scenario. We do see that it wants to bring the heaviest snowfall to a lot of the same areas the European model is expecting heavy snowfall. However, like I said, the big difference is that the, the European model, at least, I mean the GFS model, at least for the second snowstorm, wants to bring the snow a little bit further southward into the Midwest where Chicago gets involved with over six inches of snow and Cleveland gets involved with close to six inches of snow and even areas as far south as Washington, D.C. get involved with some snowfall. I'm still leaning more to European mall since it's been the more reliable model this winter but we can't dis completely disregard the GFS model either so I'll keep you guys updated with the, the uh, with any changes we see with computer models over the next several days so here's my snowfall forecast for the next several days throughout the northern midwest and northeast so this is pretty much the same forecast i made yesterday there hasn't been many major changes between the two computer model scenario from scenarios from yesterday so it's mostly the same um, throughout the northern midwest you should expect over a foot of snow and potentially localized areas close to two feet of snow so you need to pay close attention to that and we have the potential of three six inches of snow throughout new york city and and surrounding areas in the coastal northeast and the possibility of even more snowfall in the interior northeast where you could experience 6 to 12 inches of snow now take it this forecast with a huge grain of salt because there are still a lot of days that iron out the forecast so there's pretty much uh, mere, just merely uh, an estimation at this time a very rough estimation and it is definitely subject to change over the next several days so take this with a huge grain of salt and don't necessarily take this as complete complete truth at this time since the forecast is subject to change over the next several days but uh thank you guys for watching